Can you explain and clarify on the rigidity of ciphers or the schedule of passwords? Uh, clarify on the rigidity of SOP. I think basically the SOP I said it in the field. Uh, I will go on to ciphers. Ciphers basically stands for Sigil Formula Unit Share. Right? Sigil Formula Unit Share. You basically to ensure that the allocated share unit table <coughs> in the share of parcel are equitable. They are equitable. So what they actually do is they actually go double check what formula you use, what weightages you use. So if the weight formula and weightages are in accordance to Jadwal Empat. Right, the other part of the state strata rule. Okay, the state strata rule has specified the standard formula and the standard weightages. So if you apply the standard formula, standard weightages, then it should be straightforward. It should be straightforward according to the KPI given by uh, PTG Velaps Ketuan. You should be able to get your cybers within 14 days, within 14 days, 2 weeks. Uh, why is as reported more than uh, within 1 to 2 months? I'm not very sure whether it applies to PTG Belaya or not. Eh? Uh, what they actually check is very straightforward. When the license surveyor file the, the share of parcel for the application of cyphers, they have to attach the uh, an Excel sheet. Excel sheet in the format as prescribed by PTG. So, so in the Excel sheet, it's all clearly stated what are the formula used, what are the what are the uh, weightages used, so and how you calculate it. So, being in an Excel sheet, they can easily double check. They can easily double check how you calculate it and whether you have done it correctly or not. Uh, so that is why they put the the, the KPI as with two weeks, uh, and I believe PTG Belaya is are able to do it unless the the application has got some issues, right? Uh, the strata strata Excel sheet has got some issues, or they are not fully satisfied in how you apply the weightages. Right? So the some uh, consultants, they have applied wrong weightages or wrong parcels. So they, 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 they start curing. So if everything is in accordance, it should be quite straightforward. Because I have actually done the uh, workshop for that into how you double check the weightages in an extra sheet. It's just a matter of you just drag. Drag and do a simple minus. Uh, Formula allocated by a developer A. They recalculate B. A minus B should be zero. Then oh, then I say. So it's a simple check. So I think they have done it. Uh, if there are issues, okay. Then the other thing is under the Strata State Rule, they also allow developer to counter propose. Right? Developer allow to counter propose different formula or different weightages. Or both. If developers counter propose, then the KPI of nine days of two weeks does not stand. It will be on a special case, it may take longer. The one is a based on case by case basis. I'm not sure how many have done that. Okay. So by right, if the person who processing understands what he's doing, it should be quite fast. Uh, on the first question of the rigid um, rules relating to ciphers and general uh, data. Now, um, my view, the rules are not rigid. Okay? As I said earlier, you must prepare for it well in advance. Uh, if you are prepared for it, they are not rigid. As far as PDG Joho is talking about, uh, as far as PDG Joho, the the uh, KPI is nine working days. Uh, nine working days. 
but on the average now it's about one to two months. Nine working days is assuming you follow the formula that is set out in your state strata title rules. Huh? You have set up a formula for residential parcel, uh, weightage factor, aircon, weightage factor, no aircon to uh, common property, and the weightage factor is different. It does not mean, as a developer, it does not mean that you cannot use a different formula. Uh, the strata title rules have provided the formula. But you can propose your own formula. Okay? Now the nine working days apply only if you follow the formula. If you don't want to follow the formula, you propose your own formula, you may have to wait long long. Huh? Because it has to it, it doesn't have to go to MMK anymore. I'm told that it doesn't go to MMK anymore. But it has to go through uh, the technical committee, it has to go to his department, Japan, to determine whether your formula is just an equitable or not. It will take longer. So, to me, nine working days, one to two months, um, there are certain hurdles and roadblocks, but if your consultant prepare early, you can avoid all this roadblocks. So, as far as I'm concerned, they are not rigid in the sense that they can be overcome. Huh? There were some teething problems. Teething problems are after 1st June, but all these teething problems have uh, more or less been resolved. Okay? Now, on the second issue of um, sub-MC, uh, Mr. Frankerton has uh, taken you through the, the procedure required. But my view of problems relating to uh, formation of limited common property is in relation to old buildings which have been completed and management corporation in existence. Okay? Let's take for example KRCC, the two twin towers, the commercial complex at the bottom, okay, and then with the hotel building by the side. So altogether there are actually three blocks. Huh? Two of these, commercial and the hotel block. Assuming that the building has been completed well before management corporation in existence. In order to do a limited common property, it's not just a matter of drawing up the special plan. You have to go on the ground you have to go on the ground and ascertain for yourself that you can clearly on the ground delineate which part of the uh, twin tower is going to be limited common property to each of the twin tower. Different weightage is given to different usage. If you are if your unit, if your parcel is residential, you have less weightage. If your parcel in the same development is for commercial huh, or for car park or whatever, you are different, different weightage. So generally speaking, a housing parcel will have less share units than a commercial parcel because of the application of uh, the formula. So if the management bodies can determine um, different rates of charges for significantly different purposes, plus the fact that the share units allocated to you is already in accordance to your usage, huh? to me that will solve about 75 to 80% of the problems. 